The Ethiopian Educational Media Agency presents English for Grade 7. This is Program 18. Lesson topic, what is it caused by? Hello, teacher. Hello, students. Hello, Hawa. Where is Ubang? Hello, Leah. Ubang is sick today. Oh, what happened to him? I think he feels stomach pain. He feels pain in his stomach? Yes. Students, what does Ubang feel today? Students, please all of you try it again. What does Ubang feel today? Hawa? He feels pain in his stomach. Students say he feels pain in his stomach. Good. Hawa, what is the cause for his sickness? I don't know. Hawa, can you tell me the names of some diseases you know? I try. Mm, amoeba? Right. Amoeba is a disease. Do you know what amoeba is caused by? Mm, a parasite. You are right, Hawa. Amoeba is caused by a parasite. Students, what is amoeba caused by? What is amoeba caused by? Hawa? A parasite. Yes, amoeba is caused by a parasite. Students say amoeba is caused by a parasite. How do people get amoeba, Hawa? I don't know. Okay, let students try it. Students, how do people get amoeba? Oh, I got it now. Amoeba catches from dirty water. You are right, Hawa. Amoeba catches from unclean water, unclean food, and dirty things. Okay, good. Hawa, can you tell me another disease you know? Tetanus? Okay, tetanus. What is the cause for tetanus, Hawa? I think bacteria. Students, what is the cause for tetanus? Hawa? Bacteria. Students, what is the cause for tetanus? Students say tetanus is caused by bacteria. Hawa? How do people get tetanus? I think uh, through wounds. Yes, yes, that's right. Students, how do people get tetanus? Students say people get tetanus through dirty wounds. Students say again, people get tetanus through dirty wounds. Good students, now you tell your teacher the names of diseases you know, how they are caused and how people get or cut them. Teacher, please ask students one by one to names of diseases they know, how they are caused and how people get or cut them. Let one student tell you the name, another student tell you the cause and a third student tell you how people cut them. Continue the activity with several groups of three students. You have about two minutes.
teacher and students. Leah, you didn't tell me about AIDS. How is it caused? Oh, we didn't talk about AIDS. It's one of the most dangerous diseases. Do you know how many letters the word AIDS has? Mm, let me... E, D, S. Three letters. No, no, Hawa. Let students try it. Students, how many letters does the word AIDS have? Oh, I remember it now. It has four letters. A, I, D, S. You are correct. It has four letters. Teacher, please write the word AIDS on the blackboard. Use capital letters. Thank you, teacher. Students, look at that word. Now, students, how many letters does it have? Students, did you say it has four letters? Good. Hawa, what do the letters stand for? Stand for? I don't know. Okay, I will tell you. The four letters stand for four different words. Stand for four different words? Yes. Students, what do the letters stand for? Hawa? They stand for four different words. Students, say... They stand for four different words. S is one word. How do the letters stand for four different words, Leah? A good question, Hawa. You see, the word S is formed from four letters. Uh -huh. And the letters are taken from the first letters of each of the four words. What are the four different words? Okay. Teacher, please write these words on the blackboard. Write them downwards. 1. Acquired 2. Immune 3. Deficiency 4. Syndrome Thank you, teacher. Students, read those words after me. Ready? Acquired. Immune. Deficiency. Syndrome. That's very good, students. Now, look at the blackboard. Teacher, please point to the first letters of the four words. Students, did you see how the word AIDS is taken from the first letters of four different words? Now I have understood, Leah, but what does the word acquired mean? Okay, let students try it. Students, what does the word acquired mean? Okay, acquired means to get from. To get from? Yes, to get from. We get knowledge from a book. We acquire knowledge from a book. We acquire disease from someone. That means we get disease from someone? Yes, 
students now what does to acquire mean what does to acquire mean students say to acquire means to get from students say again to acquire means to get from students what does immune mean what does immune mean how are protected from students say immune means protected from how are can you tell me what does the word deficiency mean mm, lack of yes yes deficiency means lack of or without vitamin deficiency is that lack of vitamin yes vitamin deficiency means lack of vitamins or without vitamins what does deficiency mean students students say deficiency means lack of or without students say again Deficiency means lack of or without. Then, what does syndrome mean, Leah? Oh, mm, it's a scientific term for a sign of illness. A sign of illness? Yes, the sign you show when you are sick. Okay, I want to know what AIDS is caused by and how someone catches it. Oh. You want to know what AIDS is caused by and how someone gets it? Yes. Students, do you know what AIDS is caused by and how someone catches it? All right. Tell your teacher what AIDS is caused by and how someone catches it. Teacher, please ask your students what AIDS is caused by and how someone gets it. Then discuss with them. You have about two minutes. teacher and students i think it's time for us to go hawa yes it's time to go goodbye, goodbye everyone goodbye, goodbye. that was english for grade 7 from the ethiopian educational media agency join us again next week in program 19 till then goodbye everyone Goodbye.